<laughs> who I am. <laughs> yeah, normal guy, young guy who really likes riding his bike and enjoying life. Yeah, when I woke up this morning, I was thinking, Phew, pretty early, 5 a.m., but uh, I think this view is more than worth it, especially with the sunrise, and oh, it's amazing, and I'm always really looking forward when I'm in Schladming to wake up in the morning and to see from the window the mountain view, and when you have a nice breakfast there, or just go for a morning walk, you, yeah, it's incredible. And, yeah, normally uh, I go out with, with our dog also and it's just nice to go half an hour, a small walk and enjoying the view and I'm yeah, really always looking forward to this when I'm here. Yeah, I really like to be in the mountains. Uh, I'm not that often here, uh, more in the winter times because uh, yeah, during the year you are all the time uh, somewhere else, racing and training camps and so uh, yeah, when I'm at home, I really like to stay with my family there. But yeah, like I said, in the winter, uh, I do some ski touring here and that's the main reason. And uh, also for Christmas, we always celebrate it here and uh, Happy New Year. And yeah, uh, in summer, sometimes I'm coming here as well with a few cycling friends. <laughs> It's really nice to train here, something else, it's different. And yeah, uh, it's just cool when you wake up in the morning, you have a really nice mountain view and uh, yeah, it's uh, more calm than at home in the city. And yeah, you can really come down here and just relax. Yeah, and uh, at home in Upper Austria, when we are, uh, when it's uh, October, November, when you have off season, we also go hiking at home. We have pretty much climbs there as well in the uh, region of lakes. And uh, there you go up and then you go for beer to the chalet or some goulash. And that's cool, it's off season. And yeah, it's uh, special and really nice for, yeah, for the head to do something else. And still you do a nice sport. What's my motivation to ride my bike? Uh, yeah, just it's really nice sport. Uh, just to go out, uh, sit on the bike every day, few hours, going the climbs, full gas, and like in the races, uh, I don't care so much about the result. It comes from alone. It's uh, nice when you just uh, feel good and looking forward for the last climb and you know now okay let's go full gas and yeah this is it's nice the pedaling and also when I was uh, when I started riding my bike with 15 years <laughs> with the juniors and it's fun uh, we are now all professional which were together as juniors and uh, when we were for training camp it was always <laughs> so much fun just uh, a big battle on the climbs and full gas every at every village for the sprint on the border from the village <laughs> and yeah it's still the same when we go together for training it's <laughs> yeah it's always full gas and that's cool and yeah it's just uh, enjoying the bike and I think that's the most important thing. Don't think about too much on uh, results, and they they will come from alone when you have the talent and you and you like and when you when uh, this is what makes you happy when yeah, when you do what this is what makes you happy and yeah that's that's riding the bike for me. Who uh, what's important for me in in life or in 
in riding bikes. Uh, I think most important thing is always uh, being healthy and to uh, be happy what you do. Otherwise, I think uh, you cannot uh, make uh, good results or make some, some good uh, things in life. I think it's not only about cycling, also in normal job. When you, when you don't like your job, uh, it's not, uh, not really possible to be successful. And uh, I think to enjoy what you do and to have uh, your friends, your family, and uh, to yeah, just be happy. Welcome to our chalet in middle of the mountains. Enjoy the view. <laughs> it's a very uh, relaxed place. Um, especially you are here really alone with the family most of the time. And uh, in winter I never use a car. I always go down by ski and go up by ski. If I go to buy something, go down by ski and it's pretty cool. And um, it feels like maybe 100 years ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, also I, when I was younger, like I think 15, 16 years, when I was starting with cycling, uh, I go from home by train with my, one of my best friends, with Gogol Michel. He is also now a professional cyclist. Uh, and we go by train to here went up with the bike, with the suitcase, suitcases, everything, and it's a pretty steep climb. And yeah, then we spend always one week here and we train full gas. It was just fun and yeah, it was a cool time. When I'm not riding my bike, uh, I do nothing special. Uh, I really like to enjoy my time with, the, with my girlfriend. And yeah, we do, we go to the cinema, meet some friends and yeah. I also really like to play FIFA or golf, watching Netflix and yeah, also in summer we spend a lot of time together uh, next to a lake or river and yeah. yeah. Here you can do a lot of things because it's a really big region for tourism. So uh, yeah, you can uh, go hiking, climbing, uh, can drive go-karts uh, and many many other things so yeah it's uh, yeah you never get bored I think it's a cool place it's a really relaxed spot you spend uh, all the time in the nature and the best moments is really in summer when it's uh, evening you start at 7 and so you play until the Sun goes down and yeah, it uh, has a few similar things to cycling. Um, you have to really train a lot to be good. It looks so easy, but it's really difficult. It's really important to stay calm in golf. And I think also in uh, cycling, it's uh, really important to stay calm and wait for the perfect moment. And you have many shots, they are really grab. So uh, also still to stay focused and don't lose your your yeah, nerves for this so that the next shot you'll be more relaxed again and to smash it you can learn a lot from this so to relax and to stay more focused now we are on a mountain where i was used to ski a lot when i was uh, younger before my before i started the cycling um, we have been there always uh, in uh, September, October, because it's a gl glacier, so you have snow. Yeah, now it's uh, it was uh, going away a little bit the snow, but ten years ago it was quite good still. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, nice remember to come back here, and it's also my first time here on the bridge. I think it's uh, super spectacular and it's cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to show you now the ski area. I was a skier, did skiing before, and uh, it was uh, really my favorite sport. And it's uh, not an unusual sport in Austria. 
And uh, yeah, I, uh, when I was 14, I broke my leg in a race. And from there on, I started a little bit uh, for recovery, with cycling, for, for the yeah, recovery. And I really liked it a lot. And then, yeah, I was uh, uh, then starting in few races. And in the end, I changed to cycling because it's, uh, yeah, I liked it more and it's my favorite sport. And I really created a big passion for it. And yeah, that's the reason why I changed the sport. And I think in the end it uh, was, uh, was a good decision as well. What I'm missing uh, uh, from skiing, <sighs> I think it was, uh, yeah, you are also, uh, I mean in cycling you are also not in the nature, but in skiing you are like always only in the mountains and I really love the mountains and especially with the snow it looks a bit different than in summer, but uh, <sighs> cycling is really, so nice sport in winter, you are always uh, in, in Spain somewhere where it's good weather and uh, also you are a lot in the nature, you're enjoying uh, uh, yeah, you're enjoying the nature, you see everything. In skiing you are always more, okay, you, move, you travel a lot but you're always more at one spot. In cycling you, you're in the stages, you see much more. Uh, yeah, but in the end both sports are really nice. But uh, alpine skiing is cool and racing, but much uh, nicer for me is uh, ski touring. It's uh, really one of my favorite sport, maybe the most favorite sport, uh, because it's uh, yeah, you you train your endurance, you go up, so you suffer a little bit, and then uh, you are you can go up everywhere you want, and uh, yeah. Uh, then when you're up on the top and you can uh, go down on the in the powder, it's with this feeling is uh, yeah, you have to do it. You don't know the feeling when you you have never done it, so oh, it's amazing. And uh, when I see it here, like now, I really want to put on my ski and go somewhere up. If I took some benefit from uh, skiing to cycling, I think yes, especially in descending, you get a really good feeling for, for the corners and the speed. I mean, it's not, just, not the same if you, uh, ride, if you are on ski or on a bike, but uh, for the feeling, for the corners, I think it's uh, pretty the same. And also we did a lot of uh, coordination training. And also I was racing so I start racing in a really young age with five or something so you are really competitive and I think you can handle the pressure pretty well then when you are used to race since you are like yeah, since you are a young child. Now it's time to go down again to summer from, from winter to summer. So I will cook some pasta today with red pesto and some tomates and parmigiano and maybe some prosciutto on the top. Yeah, I need some carbs because we walked around pretty a lot today and also I will train in the afternoon. Yeah, in the races we always have our own chef with us to really keep an eye on our diet and we also have a a big kitchen truck, I think it's a big advantage also to other teams because you can really avoid uh, sickness, you always stay uh, there, you don't go out to the restaurant or something. So it's uh, really big, the kitchen truck, you have the really high-tech modern kitchen and also a big table with the benches and uh, yeah, it's nice to have always uh, dinner there together. Normally we cook on the old oven. But uh, yeah, it needs to take time to heat it and then uh, it also get warm inside because it's like heating the walls as well. So yeah, we take this plate, but for pasta it's quite fine, yeah. Some nice balsamico cream and yes. Eh, voila! <laughs> Not bad.
I have still a good race program this year with uh, Vuelta. So my goal for this year is to win a stage there. And yeah, anyway, my goals for the future in cycling to stay healthy is the most important thing. And yeah, to, to improve the next years, to improve my weakness and maybe to win a stage into the France one time would be my biggest dream. Yeah, we will see. Uh, yeah, where I can improve, I think you always can improve. Even when you are the best, <laughs> you have something to improve. But yeah, for me to improve is uh, especially to stay more calm sometimes. But not always the race can be perfect or the training or the, the other guys. So it's important to stay calm and I think there I can improve, improve a lot still. Yeah, I really uh, like to be in the team. I enjoy it. We have uh, a really good team morale, we push each other a lot. I think that's the main reason why we, we improved a lot this year as well. And yeah, we have uh, good coaches, good nutritionists, and also sports directors. Yeah, I'm happy uh, they really believe in me and giving me the chance to, to improve the next couple of years be a GC contender for the big races. My strength, uh, I really like a lot to climb and also to do a time trail, so I'm a pretty good all-rounder. Perfect for, for stage races and for the GC, so yeah, uh, I hope I can yeah, improve a little bit the next years. And so we will see. But yeah, full gas.